Up until this point, the material we have covered in the videos are your basics. We went over the UI of the app, how to create pages and collages, how to place filler and journal cards on your pages, and how to add text to those journal cards. We have gone over photo editing in the app, and I also walked you through how to place an order. Now, even though the Project Life app is meant to keep your memory keeping simple, there are times when we want to be a little more creative and push the limits of the app to see if we can get the app to do what we want. So the next several videos I have dubbed Pro Tips. Now, while the information in the following videos may seem simple to the seasoned app scrapper, I'd like to consider these tips and tricks as advanced techniques because they may take a bit more time to get the hang of or they can really get your creative juices flowing and make you begin to look at your pages in the app in a little bit of a more complex way. And when you do that, it may take you a little longer to create those pages. This first pro tip video, I am calling Trading Places. I will demonstrate how filler or journal cards can be added to placeholders in a different size other than their original intent. In the earlier video where I was adding filler and journal cards to my layout, I mentioned the only cards that will appear for you to choose from are those in the size of that particular placeholder selected. But what happens if you really like a 4x6 filler card yet want it to fit in a 3x4 slot? It's totally possible and I want to show you quickly how to do this. Now I still had photos from my July of 2017 uh, pictures that I needed to place into layouts. So I've already done that part, so I'm going to come back over to those layouts and come to my 2017 Volume 2. And you can see here I have a left side started, so I'm going to come here and view Edit Page. Now, if you happen to read my blog post on my Project Life process, you would have learned that while I do mainly stick to one Project Life kit for the entire year, I will have a few backup kits that I'll use that I find will coordinate well with the main kit that I'm using. Now, the main kit I'm using for 2017 is the Currently Edition, but there are certain cards from September Skies that will also work well with this kit. So for this particular layout, I'm going to be using cards from both kits. So I want to select this 3x4 slot here. I will tap that journal and filler card icon and my currently edition pops up. And let's see, I had, there's filler cards up here. And the filler card that I'm looking for is, actually it's this one, it's a first page card. And you can see it has a little camera on it. Let's X out of, there, and I'm going to zoom out. Now what happens if I really want this card, this camera card, to be down here in my 4x6 slot? Well just like you would do moving your photos around from um, placeholder to placeholder, you can do the same thing with a photo or a journal card. So you just click, drag it to the area you want it, and release. Now what's going to happen, it's going to, um, you're going to have to rotate it. Uh, if the card will allow you to do that. There are some cards in the app will, that will allow you to rotate them if you do this trick and there are some that will not. And I think this card will, you can see that it will because it's got that little rotation arrow in the upper left corner. So if you just rotate it just like that, now you have a 3x4 card in a 4x6 slot. Okay, so I'm going to put this card back you could, you know, you could work backwards too. I'm just going to put it back where, where it was. And again, I will have to rotate it a couple of times to get it to the orientation it's supposed to be. Now I want to add a journal card here in this 4x6 slot. I want something that has colors that are a little bit brighter than the currently kit. So I think I'm going to open up September Skies. I'll come up here to the little uh, tab where it says Currently Edition. I'll tap on it, and I'm going to navigate down here to my, my September Skies kit. And you can see that because I have a 4x6 placeholder selected, only 4x6 filler cards and journal cards are going to show up here. And I'm looking at these journal cards, and I'm thinking, well, you know what? I don't know... 
I don't know if any of these are what I really want. So I'm changing my mind. I'm going to come over here and tap on that 3x4 empty placeholder. I'm still on September Skies, but you notice that my journal cards have uh, changed to 3x4s. So let's navigate. How about... Actually, I really like this one with the colorful diagonals. I'm going to X out of here. And now I'm going to move this four by or three by four journal card into the four by six slot. So I'm going to tap and hold it and move. You can see that the card rotated and those diagonals are now at the top of the card instead of the side. Your text will remain the same. I'm just going to write in test. Um, you know, your, your text is going to be in the same orientation, but you are not able to rotate this particular card. All right. See, there's no uh, option to, to rotate it. So, you know, journal cards work a little bit differently than the uh, filler cards. I'm just going to tap on that 4x6 journal card and erase that word. Zoom out and you can see I still have one more placeholder to fill. I'm going to tap there, select my icon for a filler or journal card, and I want to navigate back to my currently edition. And I'm just going to place a solid color filler card inside to get ready for your next pro tip video, which is about overlays.